What's up, Phoenix, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a very specific mindful eating exercise that you can do when you feel like you're on the verge of binge eating. It's like that very magical moment of like, oh, I can go one of two ways. And so I'm gonna break it down and give you an exercise that you could do to make it really easy to derail binge eating. So let's get started. If you've never been here before, uh, welcome. It's my intention to provide high quality content to help you finally use food for health and hunger and get off of that crazy diet binge, diet binge, ridiculous, roller coaster. So let's get started. All right, so you know the old like stop, drop, and roll thing from like childhood when you're like on fire and you gotta like not be on fire, that thing, right? So it, it's like that, but there's no fire involved and it's gonna be safe. So stop what you're doing, breathe, and move. Stop, breathe, move. Why do we do that? Because when we're connected into our bodies, when we are feeling grounded and present and aware, it's really impossible to binge eat. And so this little practice, which literally will take you 30 seconds, if you do it intentionally, will be able to derail binge eating. Why do we binge eat? Because we're checked out, we're numbing out, we're distracted, we're all up in our heads, we're in a fear state, all those sorts of things. And so when we just stop what we're doing, connect back into our breath, be intentional about our breath. Even just taking one breath, you feel a different, like do it right now. Just take a, just come on, just take a breath and just do it right now. You'll feel different, I promise. So continue with that breath and do a continual breath. And what a continual breath is, is just like. <sighs> in through the nose, out through the mouth. As the name suggests, continue, you don't stop when you just continue. So keep doing that breath pattern and then move your body. What movement does is, is it activates our emotions. It gets us connected to our body. We get to feel differently because binge eating is driven by a, a, an emotional response. It's usually stress, ang anger, tension, pain, whatever it is, there's like this activation and you're like, oh, I don't wanna feel this anymore. So we just start mindlessly eating to try and like get rid of it. So when we stop, breathe and move before we're knees deep in uh, Ben and Jerry's ice cream or donuts or whatever your, your drug of choice is, then we can begin to shift those sensations so our behavior change. Because let's be real for a second. All of our behaviors that we do in our life is always driven by our beliefs, and then our feelings, and that's what creates our behaviors. We don't just do things for the sake of it, which is why, as you know, if you've been in my community for a while, or you've done the society, or you're you're just you know hanging out on YouTube with me, you'll know that in order to stop binge eating, we don't diet our way out of it, and we don't externalize it. We it's very it's a very mental and emotional issue. So we need to treat it with mental and emotional solutions. And so when we can shift the energetics of the body. We, our behaviors change. So it's not about like, I need to sit on my hands and stop binge eating, or I need to diet my way out of this, or I need to like have one of those electronic leashes where you put your calories in every single day, which is highly annoying and I did that for years. None of that stuff. It's about shifting your beliefs and shifting your energetics, shifting your how you feel. When you're in an elevated state, when you're feeling good, when your frequency's high and all that kind of stuff, you're going to make better decisions. But when you're feeling depleted, you're feeling stressed out, you're not feeling good about yourself and all that kind of stuff, your decisions and your behaviors are going to reflect your vibration. And so it's really important to be a master of your vibration, know how to shift and change it on a regular basis so that you can start shifting your behaviors by taking responsibility for your vibration. So if this is making sense, I want you to write in the comments box, yes, Sam, that makes sense. Stopping, being aware of what's going on, breathing, connecting to your breath, feeling your emotions. <sighs> we have to feel in order to heal. We can't, we can't think our way out of our emotionality. We have to feel our way out of it. And so feeling all of it, feeling the pain, feeling the stress, feeling the overwhelm, feeling the part of you that's mad at yourself, feeling the part of you that thinks that you have no willpower or you're a failure, like welcome it all. It all gets to be there. What screws it up more than anything is wronging yourself for it. So thinking that it should not be there. Welcome it all, it all gets to be there. And then move your body in a way that feels good. It's not dance, it's just like literally movement. And sometimes there's just so much emotionality right underneath the surface and we just need to like move it out. So shake it out kick your legs, jump around, dance a little bit, put on your favorite song, whatever you need to do to start to get that energy moving. So do that, and again, it can take 
30 seconds, it can take two minutes, whatever it is, then ask yourself, what am I really hungry for now? And nine times out of 10, your body will be like, mm, I'm not hungry, that was just an emotional hunger cue, not a physical hunger cue. So I want you to try that out, and then I want you to come back to the channel and I want you to tell me on this, on this video, in the comments of this video, if this was powerful for you and if you were able to shift the energetics around this and derail binge eating. So in a second here, I'm gonna share with you what was one of the biggest things to help me with this um, and truly embody this. But before I do that, I wanna make sure that you are signed up for our five day food freedom challenge where I personally walk you through step by step by step by step to help you end the battle with food in your body. So I give you video modules, I give you meditations, I give you all the things, there's a community to support you as well. So if you've not yet done it, it's totally free. Click the link below to get yourself in the door. All right, so what's my ninja strategy? So my ninja strategy is presence. You cannot binge eat when you're present. When you're present, you automatically monthly eat. Right, So we can use the, the stop, breathe, and move to derail all of that activation and sensation that is going on. And then after that, as you're eating, be incredibly present. What does the food taste like? Don't be distracted. Be grateful for what it is. Ask yourself, how much more present can I be? How much more can I feel into this moment? If being present is something that's really challenging for you, go ahead and try some meditation. There's meditations on this channel. There's emotional eating meditations, there's all sorts of meditations on this channel. So go and, and uh, do some meditation and allow your brain to just calm down so it calms down your nervous system. That's what it's all about. It all starts with the mental and emotional aspects of our body. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and let me know. If not, give me a thumbs down and let me know why. Let me know also if you have any questions. I answer every single question on this channel. So write your question below and we will see you next Thursday for another episode. Bye for now.